In the aftermath of World War II, the United States was experiencing a turbulent period known as the Red Scare, fueled by fears of communist infiltration in American society. This growing paranoia extended to the entertainment industry, particularly Hollywood, which was seen as a hotbed of liberal ideology. It was during this time that the infamous Hollywood Ten emerged as key figures in the struggle between freedom of speech and political activism. These ten individuals, who were screenwriters and directors, became the targets of intense scrutiny and were accused of having communist ties or sympathies. The Hollywood Ten consisted of Alva Bessie, Herbert Biberman, Lester Cole, Edward Demetric, Ring Lardner Jr., John Howard Lawson, Albert Maltz, Sam Ornitz, Adrian Scott, and Dalton Trumbo. These filmmakers were summoned to testify before the House Un-American Activities Committee, HUAC, in 1947 regarding their alleged communist affiliations. Refusing to cooperate and testify, they were held in contempt of Congress and became known as the Hollywood Ten. Their refusal to cooperate was based on their belief that the committee's investigations infringed upon their First Amendment rights. As a consequence of their refusal to cooperate, the Hollywood Ten were charged with contempt of Congress, resulting in a range of punishments. Some faced fines, while others received prison sentences. Albert Maltz and Dalton Trumbo were among those who served jail time. The film industry itself took action, implementing a blacklist that prevented the Hollywood Ten and others from finding work in major studios. This blacklist left a significant impact on the careers and lives of those affected, forcing them to work under pseudonyms or seek employment in overseas markets. Throughout the years that followed, attitudes towards the Hollywood Ten began to shift. The once-held fears of communist influence began to subside, and the unfairness of the industry's blacklist was acknowledged. In 1960, Producer and actor Kirk Douglas broke the blacklist by openly crediting Dalton Trumbo as the screenwriter for the acclaimed film Spartacus. This public recognition was a turning point in the battle against the blacklisting of the Hollywood Ten, gradually leading to the dismantling of the blacklist as more industry figures rallied against it. The Hollywood Ten served as a catalyst for the protection and preservation of freedom of speech within the film industry. Their defiance drew attention to the importance of maintaining artistic integrity and challenging unjust regulations. While their careers suffered significant setbacks, their resilience and unwavering dedication to their principles played a vital role in shaping the future of the entertainment industry. The Hollywood Ten's legacy continues to serve as a reminder that the pursuit of truth and creative expression should never be compromised.